Hey, what's up, my little tattletales? Did y'all hear the good news? S-K-A-N, Skin by Kim, is a hit. It sold out and she's taking over the world. <laughs> Just joking. Y'all know that mess flopped. As soon as I saw that price tag, because don't get me wrong, when I first heard about it, I said, I mean, maybe, right? The product is cute. I knew Kanye had something to do with it. I said maybe it might do well until I found out the whole set was $630. And on top of that, she said, you can't skip any of those steps. You need it all or it don't work. I said, mama, please, you live in an Oompa Loompa dreamland. But I withheld my thoughts, but now I can share them with you because you guys, the evidence that it is in, this is a bad week for Kim. It, it skims, skims, skin has flopped but you know what it's still early on maybe they'll get those numbers up but y'all let's look at the pr campaign that she put out even her her uh proclamation said i'm winning it's a hit and then we're gonna debunk every one of those rumors y'all ready to get into this all right let's go but make sure don't forget tonight 8 p.m eastern standard time we gonna be outside in these streets exposing, talking, chatting. The members only lives gonna be on and popping. There's gonna be a link in the bio. Well, not the bio, in the description box to sign up. Yeah, we going old school. Got some tea on Simon and Portia. And then we gonna talk about Kim and Kanye. All right, let's get back to this mess. Y'all ready? Let go. All right, everybody. So really quick, let's get into first. Where was I? Oh, yeah, dragging. Let's get into what Kim's saying is going down with skin. Just because you guys need a litmus test for the BS. Okay. You know, we're all so busy with our lives, but to come and spend the night with me at my office celebrating the launch of skin really warms my heart. Um, and I was so, so I don't know why. Like starting something new and just completely closing my other beauty businesses and starting this made me really nervous. Um, really quick, Tisa here. Uh, Kim, as well it should have, you shut your other businesses because you and Kanye are so entwined financially. And when you declared yourself legally single, you wanted to make sure that any future openings, earnings you had, including skin, he couldn't get his fingers into. You guys, if you don't know how Kanye's playing hardball, go and watch the other video. But <clears throat> I'm sorry for interrupting. Continue, Kimberly. I'm scared and I loved that nervous energy feeling. Doubled our, our sales goal in the world. Um, Kimberly, you and I both know that doesn't mean anything, but continue. We had a daily goal and we literally doubled that in the first like 20, 30 minutes. Yeah, make sure you clean that one up, Kimberly, because anybody that knows anything about marketing, anything about small businesses, anything about sales, or anything just about math knows. It is too early in any business when you just launched it the day before to say you doubled your sales goal. Sales goals are usually set the month, the quarterly, and the year. So then Kim realizes, oh wait, <laughs> I just made myself look like a liar. So she did what she always did. Now walk it out, now walk it out, now walk it out. First she walk it out, she literally said, no, no, no. We had a daily sales goal and we doubled it. Kim, what was your daily sales goal? 12 and now you doubled it to 24? Wait, no, that doesn't even make sense. How many Kardashians are there? One, two, three, four. So your sales goal was four a day because you know your mama, you know Chloe. A Kylie was going to get it. Kendall was going to get it. Take Courtney's name out of there because you know Courtney was like, I'm not buying that because it's not organic. More on that later. Okay, so are we done with Kim's BS? Now let's get to the real. Okay, so let's get to the real, real. What's the first clue that this was a flop? First of all, Kim's skin looks horrible with blonde hair. Now, I'm not saying she can't pull it off, but when it comes to her complexion actually looking beautiful and dewy and warm, blonde hair ain't it. It washes you out. So why would you launch a skin line and you want the color of your hair to make your skin look absolutely horrible where you can see every imperfection? Part two of my deep dive into why Kim flopped is one that a lot of people seem to be overlooking. Everybody that Kim has sent skins to, to test, to try to testify, has either been Caucasian or they have been Asian American. There is a skin chart, I think it goes to five or six shades. Kim stays firmly in the first second, at the very most, the top of the third shade. It lets you know that one, 
Have you tested this on people with darker skin, uh, people from Latino or African descent? Because as you know, or even darker Southeast Asian, because as you know, the more melanin you have in your skin, things react differently. Again, Fenty Skincare has tested it on all skin types. Again, for people with melanin in their skin, I'll raise my hand, it is a big issue on whether something that works for Heidi can work for Tisa. We also have the most glaring thing that shows that this is a flop. It hasn't even been out for a day or two, depending on when you're watching this, and prices have been slashed. Does that sound like anyone that doubled their sales goal by slashing prices? We all know when something is on and popping, no matter what country you live in, you don't start slashing prices and you don't slash prices the first day of sale. What in the Bath and Body Works hell is Kimberly up to? For y'all overseas that don't know what Bath and Body Works are, it is a store where candles are priced at $3,000. But today only, you can get five for $16. And at a certain point, you're like, can you just price the candles to be five or $6 each and stop this nonsense? But they don't. It's always a sale. Eight for 20. But if you buy one, it's $36. Y'all get the drift. That's what Skims is doing. So basically, while Kim was on Instagram front and eating sushi, showing that Nobu catered her party with her staff, which surprisingly has no melanin outside of one Tracy Romulus, who I believe is Asian and white. It's just funny. It's just funny that someone that has so much love and reverence for Latino and Afro-American culture doesn't have anybody um, that works for her. But I guess she couldn't find any minority women to get up and effing work. Maybe that's it. But let's move on. Let's also look at the price, which honestly, a lot of news publications, Reddit threads, everybody has been saying, are you kidding me? Let's take the oil drops, for instance. It is $95 for one ounce. Now, one ounce, you get to take three in a little baggie in the airport. One ounce. Now, I know what you're saying. Listen, if this oil has a fountain on you, I'll pay that times 10. However, all this oil has is the fountain of chemical hell. The number one thing, even though she keeps saying, oh my God, it's reusable, it's restackable, it's this, it's that, and everybody used it for a week, it's like, oh my God, my skin's glowing, I can't believe it. People are screaming at, not only do you have this price point, but you are literally cheating consumers. And I know what you guys are saying, Kardashians and cheating. What? Yes cheating consumers. They are literally saying the active ingredient is an oil-soluble vitamin C. They also go as far as saying that it contains 7% squalene. Oh, 7% squalene, you don't say. For those of you guys that are not proficient in chemistry, squalene is like a very purified version of regular olive oil. If you guys don't know, Kim's full ingredient list, right? Her full ingredient list the first one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm sorry, okay, so, so the first five ingredients are not natural, they're not naturally derived. She doesn't actually get the squaling until the sixth, and then we get into apricot oil, which is the eighth. You guys, you can literally go to the ordinary and get better, higher quality stuff for a fraction of the price. I believe the ordinary, is some nothing is over $10, everything's between five and $10. You can go to Hashka, Dr. Hashka and get something even more natural and better quality if you so choose. You guys, Kim is, of course, definitely tripping. And nothing that she does or say can change that fact. Again, a like is free. A follow is free. But to actually give something real that consumers actually like and that consumers actually feel value in, that actually takes a little effort. And like we know with the Kardashians, they're more into smoke and mirrors. Kim even bought cute little Northy out to actually see if she could increase sales, even though, is this even approved to use on kids' skin younger than 12? FDA, guys, FDA. And as we know, skincare ingredients can be mildly irritating to adult skin. On children's skin, ugh, I shudder to think what will happen. Anyway, guys. 
I mean, of course, Kim doesn't know how to use scar seats, apparently, or what they're good for. So it makes sense that, oh, of course, Northy can play in the uh, eye cream and whatnot. Anyway, you guys, let me know what you think in the comments. Again, multiple people are saying it is a flop. Now, we can't say it's too early to tell this is true, but if you can call it a success, we can definitely chime in and call it a flop. Anyway, if anybody does buy this, make sure you inbox me and let me know how you like it. All right, my little tattletoes, bye.